Hey guys, this is Sam, and today I will release an update to iOS 11 Beta 2, which is a really strange move. I was not expecting this to happen because we just saw the release of iOS 11 Beta 2 last Wednesday with a ton of changes. If you're interested in checking out everything that changed in iOS 11 Beta 2, I made two entirely separate videos just because there were so many changes to take a look at, and so many good changes in general. I really like the direction that iOS 11 is going. But going back to today's update, it wasn't available to all devices, like the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus, and even the brand new 10.5 inch iPad Pro that was just announced at WWDC 2017 are not supported. So the devices that are supported are the following, the iPad Air and iPad Air 2, the iPad Mini 2, 3, and 4, the brand new iPad 5 that came out back in March, iPad Pro 12.9 inch, iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, and iPhone 6 Plus, and finally the iPhone SE. We really don't know why Apple only released this update to these specific devices because it seems like something involved with iOS 11 would also impact all other iOS devices, but that just doesn't look to be the case. After some people updated to iOS 11 Beta 2, I think I saw some reports that there was some boot loops happening or that you couldn't downgrade to iOS 10, so there's a chance that this update could fix that or maybe provide a workaround for people to downgrade or maybe this fixes the boot loop issue in general. I'm going to be honest, I don't really know. We haven't had that much time to test it, but if you've experienced any of those issues, let me know down below in the comment section if this update improves that or if you're able to use your iPhone better now. As far as new features or changes go, I really was not expecting to see anything new in this update, but Apple released a new version of developer release notes for iOS 11 beta 2 update 1, and there was actually one line that changed. In the previous release notes for the first version of iOS 11 beta 2, there was a developer class called AR Session Configuration, which was related to the AR or Augmented Reality features in iOS 11, that was only available to devices with an A9 processor or better. Well, in this new update, iOS 11 Beta 2 Update 1, that line was removed from this section, so I assume that this feature will now be available on all iOS devices, regardless of the processor inside. I don't want to get too technical, but this allowed you to integrate some basic AR or Augmented Reality features into your application, so it worked like this. If you you take a look at this diagram found on Apple's developer website, you could rotate your device left or right or rotate it up or down. You just couldn't move it and then you could get this really basic AR experience. It's nowhere near as detailed as something like Pokemon Go because that's a little bit more advanced, but if you just wanted to try something out, you could use this feature and based on the developer notes, this should be available to all devices now, not just those with an A9 processor or newer. Now, if anything else changes, I'll be sure to update the blog post down below in the description. And if you're interested in seeing anything else related to iOS 11, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit like if you enjoyed watching this video or found it useful. Hope all of you are doing well. I've been Sam and I'll talk to you later.